Hi everybody, today I will show you how to create post grid in WordPress. So let's begin. Alright, to create the post grid in the WordPress, first of all what we need to do, we have to go inside the plugin and click on the add new plugin and here we have to search for custom layouts. So here as you can see here that we have the custom layouts by code and so we have to install and activate this and as you can see here I have already activated this okay so after this what we have to do we have to go inside the custom layouts that will appear on the sidebar so first of all we have to go inside the templates and here what we have to do we have to go inside add new template so now let's just give a title to our template here so this will be let's say post grid so from here what I can do I can actually customize my post template here so as you can see here that we have the title here we have the excerpt we have author we have published date we have modified date we have custom fields we have taxonomy we have post type link comment count and text so basically you can add any of these options into your post template okay so first of all I'm gonna add the title here so I'm gonna simply click on add title and now you will be able to see our title here and we can also do the customization on this side but first of all let's just add the elements here okay so after the title I would like to add the excerpt here so we can also drag this if you want to but I'm gonna simply click on this add button now we're gonna have our excerpt after that we have the published date and the modified date so if you want to add any of these options you can simply add this from here okay but right now I'm gonna delete this and after that we have the custom field so if you want to add any custom field from here you can simply add this from here but right now we don't need any custom field here and after that we have taxonomy post type link comment count and the text so here I'm gonna add the link here after our excerpt okay so we have the read more button and I would also like to add published date so let's click on the add button here perfect so now what we have to do we have to edit our elements here so if I just click on the heading now so here as you can see here that in our title settings we can change our header tag okay so in the header tag if I wanted to go with the h2 I can simply go here with the h2 if I wanted to go here with the h5 I can simply go here with the h5 so I'm gonna go here with the h5 and after that we have option to open this on a new window so if you want to open this on a new window you can simply enable this after this we have the typography so if you want to do any modification in the typography you can simply do this from here so I'm gonna go here with the Arial I think the default value is the Arial so we can go here with any other options so let's go here with the Genova this is looking good and we can make this look bold we, we can also make it look italic and underline as well but I only want to make this look bold and I think this will look perfect and we also have the line height so if you want to increase the value of the line height you can also change this from here and from here I'm gonna go here with the size that would be medium and after that we have the color property as well so if you want to change the text color or the background color of the text you can simply do this after this we have the border and then we have spacing so in the spacing we have the padding and the margin and in the last we have the advanced settings so in the advanced settings basically if you wanted to add any additional CSS classes you can simply do this from here but now I'm gonna go inside the second option here so in the second options we have the excerpt setting so here I can add the limit here if I wanted to after that we have the second option here to use the post content as a backup and then we have option to hide theme and read more link and here we have the limit of the words here so I can also decrease this and increase this from here so I want to decrease this to the I guess uh, 10 words after that we have the typography so I'm going to also change this to the uh, Geneva and this would be small I guess yes I think we're gonna go here with the small and we can also make this look bold if you wanted to but I'm gonna keep it like this alright so after this we have the color so I'm gonna go here with a kind of grayish color here so maybe this one but I think I would go here with light or the dark gray color this would look fine yeah this will look fine and after this we have the same options for the border and the spacing so now we're gonna click on our link here so in the link if you want to change the label you can change this from here 
and after this we have the typography so we're gonna change this to the Geneva perfect and here we can make it go bold here so we're gonna make it look bold and we can also change the background color here that will be the black color or we can go here with the white color and on the text we can go here so if I just click on the text here we can go here with the black color and we can also add the border here so let's just click on the border let's just add the border width here okay so I think this is looking fine and here I would like to change the border radius color so this will also be a kind of grayish color or we can go here with the black color and after that we have the spacing so in a spacing I have to add the pairing value here so this will be the top side so we're gonna go here with the 10 pixels and here we're gonna go here with 15 pixels and after that we have the 10 pixels again and then we have the 15 pixels again okay similarly we have the margin so if you want to add the margin value you can simply do this so I'm gonna add the margin value because I want to add some space between our date and link so I'm gonna add this from the bottom side Alright, so I think now this is looking good. And we also have the option to align them into the different sides. So if you want to put this into the center, you can simply put this into the center or to the right side. But I'm going to put this onto the left side. Similarly, we have the same kind of option for our except. And we have the same kind of option for our, for our heading as well. And you can also move up and move down the element. So let's say that I wanted to put my date before this link here. So I can simply click on this arrow. And then we're gonna have this okay so I think this is looking fine let's just add some spacing here as well so we're gonna go into the downside and this will be it okay so I think this is looking fine and what else we need now I think this is looking good okay now what we have to do we have to add the width to our card here so I'm gonna change the width of the card so I think it would be around 400 px this is looking good you can also add the featured image you can add the background image and we also have the color here of the text and the background then we have the border and then we have the spacing so I'm gonna go into the spacing and I will add some pairing here so this will be around I guess 20 px perfect and I can also edit my image here so in the image we have these options for the image source size then we have containing size so if you want to go with the natural fit you can go with it and otherwise you can also change this to the aspect ratio and then you can give a aspect ratio value to this but I'm gonna go here with the natural fit here and after this we have the color so if you want to have this color you can simply have this but if you don't want to have the color that's totally on to you so that is how we can also edit our image here so now we have to publish our post template here and now we have to go inside our layout so let's click on the add new layout so I'm going to name this as a new layout. Okay, so this is the layout with our default post template. But since we have designed our own post template, so we can simply use that. And I think this is looking better. And we can also adjust the number of the columns here. So I think I would go here with the two or we can also go here with the four. Whatever you prefer to have here. But I'm going to go here with two columns here. And we can also increase the grid gaps here. So let's just increase the grid gaps here to the 25 px and after that we have the option to use masonry if you wanted to use that and if you wanted to have the equal height draws you can also have this from here and after that we have fill last row so if you want to fill the last row with the complete width you can simply do it like this so i'm gonna put it like this okay and after this we have the pagination so if you have a lot of the posts here you can simply add the pagination to it if you wanted to and after this we have the option for the query so in the query you can also add the my templates as well if you wanted to and you can also add any other value but i don't want to add my templates here so we have the option for elementor header and footer builder we have floating elements we have pages so whatever you want to add here you can simply add it from here okay so i'm gonna actually have these options perfect and we can also have the pagination as well i think this is looking good and after this we have these options of order by and direction but I'm gonna have these values as the default values and then we have the color we have the spacing so that's what we have so now I'm gonna simply copy the short code of our layout here first I would just need to publish this now I'll just simply go inside the pages here and click on the add new page and here I'm gonna name it as 
post grid and here i will just simply search for post layout okay so i just have to add the post layout here and here what i have to do i have to change the template it will be the template that we have created and this is looking good and here what we have to do i'm going to change the value to the 2 and after this we have this cave so let's change this again to the 20 then we have to enable the option to fill last row we can enable the pagination we can add the pages as well from here perfect and after this we have these same options but i'm going to delete the pages from here right now and now let's just click on publish now let's click on view page and now you can see here that we have our post grid here and i think this is looking really good so this is how we can create the post grid in the wordpress so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel